DocsRP here. I'm going to uh, continue showing how to add uh, Google Analytics and get it set up on a property. Uh, as you recall in my previous videos, I set up an account and I added a property for KevinWTharp.com. Uh, now it has shown up uh, when I can see it in my all accounts list. I can uh, come in here. Now if I had already set up a, uh, what I'm going to be looking at is how to add a goal. Now when I first set up this property, I could have gone ahead and added a goal, but I didn't do that at that time. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here. And uh, so I've gone into my all accounts and I have my new account listed there. And I'm going to click that, uh, set that up. And I'm going to make my way in so that I can see uh, how to add a goal. So I went into conversions and then I go into goals and overview. And it tells me that I don't have any goals. So what I want to do is I want to set up a goal. And uh, goals are essentially what is it that the user will do so that you know that you've accomplished some objective of your site. So uh, we're going to set up a goal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I'm going to to um, the first thing that I want them to do is I want to uh, visit a particular page so um, there's different options of what you can do here and I want to find a place where I can say that if they visit a, a particular page um, that I can do so um, visit blog. So I'm setting up that I want them to uh, visit my blog and I'll consider that uh, as a successful goal. And, and you'll see as you go through here there's all different things that you can do. So I've uh, set visit blog up there and what I need to do is I need to uh, give a URL uh, of what that will be. So if I go to my website uh, I've got links here to my blog uh, in several places and when I go to that link this is the uh, the URL that I want to use so I'm going to grab that and I'm going to go back to the Google Analytics and I'm going to pass that in And I'm not going to assign a monetary value to that. And I'm not going to at this point give a specific path. Although I could go on, go in and turn in a path uh, if I anticipated that they would go a specific way. But what's important to know is that I can set up those funnels. I'm not going to do that for the sake of time on this. And because your goals are going to be different than mine the way that you go there. And part of that is, is the planning process of how you set up your website. Knowing how you want your students, um, or not your students, your, your users to get to where they're wanting to go. So I set create the goal. And so now I have um, the my goal is set up. And so when I go to all my website data for that, at this point there are no goals um, that are right. And um, because I just set this up today, I don't yet have um, all the information that I need in here. It, it hasn't actually started gathering data yet. So we'll have to come in here and look at that later on to see uh, what that does.